This girl at work said something to me the other day and I like can't get it out of my head. I heard a baby around her. I was like, oh God, that's free birth control for me. And she's like, oh, that makes me think of my little baby. And I was like, yeah, I'm too selfish. I don't want kids. What do you mean by that? Like I have a dog. That's enough for me. A couple days later, she's like, so you don't want kids, but you have a dog. Do you have like a boyfriend or anything? And I was like, no, I've never had a boyfriend. What? She was like, how old are you? I said 27. She's like, and you've never had a boyfriend? And I like never really cared, but. Yes, you did. That's why you're talking about it right now, because you cared and you care every single day. And when you see women with children, that bothers you because your biology is screaming out. You need that for yourself. But ladies like you constantly fight it and it just makes you miserable. There's something about her like saying that that really hit me this time because like I've never been on even like two dates with the same person. Like even guys I've talked to or like hooked up with, they'll slowly stop talking to me and then I find out they have a girlfriend or they get into a new relationship like a week later. And it's because they probably felt like they were wasting time talking to you and they just moved on. You know, like the same thing a lot of women do very easily and very quickly. Like when I was younger and I didn't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, I'd be like, it's because I'm fat. I used to weigh like 320 pounds. I lost 160 pounds. It's not like I'm being hit up every day, every week, even every month with like people in my DMs or like messaging me on Snapchat trying to get with me. It's like no one hits me up. Stop the cap. <laughs> now see guys, I want you to pay attention to what she just said. She said it's not like people are hitting her up on Instagram and all these places. Nobody's doing that, right? That tells you that that is happening to women all the time. Women have a lot of options. She's upset because she doesn't have those options that the majority of the other women are experiencing. Now, do I believe that she's not getting any PMs or anything like that? No opportunities? No, not for a second. She's not getting the opportunities that she wants. See, she wants a particular guy and those guys are not messaging her. That is what she's really saying. It's not even like I'm being selective with who I'm picking and like turning people away. It's just like people aren't coming up to me and I don't, I don't understand. Not like I have an issue with people like wanting to hook up with me, but if it tries to go a step further, they're like, absolutely not, no. I don't want to just like hook up with random people that I don't know. So I'll tell people that I don't want to hook up with them until I know them. And then they're like, well, you're approved. I'm like. I mean, there's nothing wrong with waiting and, you know, till you know someone to hook up with them. I don't think any woman should just go out there and sleep with uh, every man that's interested in them. But, you know, obviously there's some other issues going on here that you have yet to address. And until you address them, you're going to constantly have this problem. And you definitely are being selective about the men that approach you. All women, even average women, will get attention, especially on social media sites, especially dating sites. You could take the average woman and put her on there and she's going to get more action than a, a well-known guy celebrity or something like that. It's just the way it is. So you're just being picky on the ones that you want to hit you up. And then you're saying, oh, nobody's hitting me up. I literally can't win. Why it's like hitting me so hard this time is the fact that she had the audacity to ask by choice. And I just sit there and I'm like, no. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's not by choice. Well, actually it is because if you choose to not work on yourself, you choose to keep displaying these uh, behaviors, it is your choice. That is a choice. You can choose to go work on yourself and so you can stop doing that, but you're choosing not to. So that is a choice. When I was younger, I was like, oh, it's because I'm fat. Oh, it's because I'm fat. fat. Once I lose weight, I'll have no problem. And now that I'm like not fat, I'm just like, what is it? Because it's not based on you just being fat. You need to work on that low self-esteem that you have. You and like many women like you, you base all your worth on what's on the outside and what you look like. Of course, men are attracted to fit, feminine women, right? We love that. But it has a lot more to do with who you are as a person. If you're insecure, if you have a lot of doubt, if you're constantly upset, emotional, those are things that turn men off. It doesn't matter how hot you are, how much you weigh, and all that type of stuff. What is the reason? Emotional, damn it. So now I'm gonna finish my energy drink and hit the gym until I can't feel my emotions anymore. Maybe that's the reason. 
Well, I mean, shutting yourself off so you don't feel your emotions anymore is a problem. You need to sit in them and deal with them. That's the only way you're going to work through them. But unfortunately, a lot of women like you, what they do is they go do things to try to make themselves forget about that or so they don't feel it no more. It could be the gym. It could be alcohol. It could be a club. It could be all types of things. Some women uh, go have a lot of sex thinking that's going to help them forget about a certain situation. But the bottom line is that you have to work on yourself. You have to work on yourself. You're going to always have guys that want to sleep with you, but it's not going to be the right guy that you want. If you're not what you, you, you know, if you're not that type of woman that it has her stuff together, is not all over the place with her emotions, not crying, not doing all these things, you know, you're going to have a better outcome. But if you're on social media and you're like on TikTok and all these places and you're emotional and you're making these videos and you're crying and you're doing all that, say a guy that's on that social media site is interested in you. He sees a picture of you, sees a video of you, you're being happy, smiling, whatever it is. And then he goes to your page and he sees all this other stuff that you're saying, like in this video, he's automatically turned off. Nobody wants to invest in that long term because it's drama. Men can't fix you. OK, now I know a lot of you ladies, you have this mindset, <clears throat> excuse me, that you think you can fix men. You think if you love him enough, you do certain things that you can fix him. And because you all look through things through your own female lens, you probably think that men are the same way. I can fix her. I can save her. But men don't necessarily think about it like that. And any guy that's trying to save another woman from something or a woman in general from something usually is going to lose. He's always going to be at a deficit. So, again, work on yourself. Work on that self-esteem. Work on your character as a person, because there is definitely something wrong with somebody that's 27 years old that has never had a boyfriend. You're not an ugly woman. You're not unattractive, right? I'm sure you weren't even unattractive all the way like you think you were when you weighed more. But you have to work on yourself. That's where it starts. There's a problem. If you've been this long without having a boyfriend, you see this woman with this child, that is what really got you upset because your biological yearning, so to speak, is grabbing at you and pulling at you saying, where's yours? What are you doing? Women have this desire to constantly nurture and the things that thing that they want to nurture the most or the person that they want to nurture the most are their children. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have so many women that are single that have animals and pets because they need to nurture something so bad and they will just do that. If all else fails, they'll just go nurture um, animals, even moms that have children out the house now and they're single. They got divorced or something like that. They'll go get dogs and cats and stuff because they still need to nurture something. So that is your biological uh, clock calling out to you saying, what are you doing? That is what you're feeling. And you're feeling envy. You're envious that this woman has a child. She seems to be happy. And she's looking at you saying, why don't you have that for yourself? But instead of looking at the whole picture, you want to say, well, this woman has the audacity to say something to me. Why don't you stop to think about the fact that she might be saying that out of, out of concern because as a woman, she knows truly what feeds your soul. Take note and listen to that. Stop repeating the same mistakes thinking you're going to get another outcome. That is truly the definition of insanity. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.